Welcome back to Meds Made Easy. My name is Tarun. Today we're going to be talking about valproic acid, also known as Depakote. Depakote comes in extended release tablets. You can see capsules that have the um, beads in them. So, you know, all the kind of same stuff. So we, it's an extended release formulation. It is used for bipolar disorder, uh, general onset seizures, uh, migraine prophylaxis. Um, and so you're able to kind of get a lot of different things done with this medication. Uh, how does it work? It works by increasing the availability of GABA neurotransmitter in your brain. Uh, and it also blocks the voltage-gated sodium channels, which allows for uh, suppression of, um, how do you call it, uh, of neuronal firing. Because that's kind of what's happening, right? When you have uh, onset seizures, you're having uh, migraines, you have improper firing going on in your brain, right? So what we do is we kind of focus those firings and kind of prevent excess firing from occurring and that's how we're able to get treatment of these things, bipolar disorder, uh, seizures, uh, migraines, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, delayed release tablets um, generally kick in in about four hours, that's the peak effect when you see the maximum amount of effect of the medication. Uh, extended release, the XRs, so DR about four, XR about uh, I think it's four to 17 hours. Um, which is unusual, but again, it all really kind of depends on your body. Uh, and then the immediate release is about four hours. You see the peak effect of this medication. Now, it does have black box warnings for hepatotoxicity, um, fetal risk, and pancreatitis, uh, pancreatitis. And so, again, you want to really make sure that all your doctors know everything that you're on because this medication can stack with other medications that cause Problem. So liver, renal issues, you've got to make sure that your doctors know every, everything that they're on, everything that you're on. Um, pregnancy, you generally don't take this medication in pregnancy. There have been a lot of issues associated with um, what we see in children. Um, if you're lactating, you have this thing called an RID, a relative infant dose. As long as you're underneath that uh, infant dose, you're fine. If there's too much being found in the breast milk that's going to the kid, that is not appropriate. We can't have that. But your doctor should be measuring those levels uh, if you are lactating anyway. Here's a list of side effects. You know, the big thing about this one is there's a huge wider range of side effects that can happen with this medication. You just kind of have to listen to your body, right? Um, headaches, dizziness, drowsiness, alopecia can happen, thrombocytopenia, so it can affect your actual blood. And so, you know, you want to constantly get yourself uh, checked every so often on this medication, make sure nothing funny is going on, and listen to your body. That's the number one thing when you're taking medications. Listen to your body. Is something weird going on? Uh, weird fidgeting, headaches, anything out of the usual, don't discount that. Talk to your doctor about them. Let them know because we want to find the right medication for you. And that's the key. You don't want to keep taking a medication that's giving you side effects and you just tolerating those side effects. That's not successful in our world, right? We want to give you the least amount of side effects as possible while getting you the outcome that we need, right? So guys, that is it. Leave any comments, concerns down below. Hit subscribe. Let us know how we're doing with these videos. We'll see you next time on Meds Made Easy. Bye.